Hi, this is Tara from HealingCrystals.com. Hi, this is Lourdes for HealingCrystals.com. Today we're going to talk about one of our favorite subjects, and that is jewelry. Yes. <laughs> we love jewelry. That is an But seriously, what girl doesn't love jewelry? I mean, and a lot of guys love jewelry, too. I mean, mm -hmm. jewelry is just awesome. I mean, besides, besides decorating yourself, it's also, you know, one of my favorite ways to carry the energy around with me to keep me feeling safe and protected and energized throughout the day. I agree. And... There's so many different ways. Mm -hmm. People always ask us, do you have to carry it on you? Well, it really works best if it's on or near you. Mm -hmm. So jewelry is the perfect vehicle for that. It's true. It, that's true. And probably mm -hmm. one of the, the number one questions that I get all the time is, can I wear too much jewelry? Or can I be wearing too many crystals? Or should I be, is, is it okay to mix these different crystals? I may be the wrong person to ask because... <laughs> This, this is pretty typical for me, okay? Uh, I mean, I, I just have whatever, you know, I just kind of, sometimes I plan my jewelry out the day before and say, okay, this is what I'll need. For instance, I was traveling a lot today, so, you know, so with my bracelets, I have a lot of my protective stuff on, um, and I was doing shopping, so I have my citrine and my green adventure <laughs> to find good bargains, all right? Um, but... I don't think, I don't believe the crystals cancel each other out. And and I believe that as long as the energy feels good to you and you don't feel overwhelmed by mm -hmm. the energy, then you should wear whatever you want as much as of it as you want to wear. And for me, I feel as long as you have the intention. Oh, right. Mm -hmm. You know, the intention for it, let's say you may be wearing black tourmaline and labradorite and obsidian, but they're all for protection. Right. So they all work well together. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have 20 different intentions, that may be a challenge. That's where you might start feeling right. that something you, you, is off. You don't want to mix your intentions. That That's a very good point. You know, you're, you're wearing a bracelet too. Although you can kind of have them complement each other. Like, for instance, if you're taking a trip, you want to have fun and excitement, but you also want to be protected. Exactly. They don't have mm -hmm. to be mutually exclusive. Mm -hmm. So, you know. That's, that, that is something to keep in mind when, when you're working with your jewelry. Um, and then also just something else to keep in mind is, you know, I, I like to, you know, how things make you feel and how they look to you. Like, for instance, I, I like these two. They're beautiful. I, these two together just seem very right to me. So I would definitely wear this while some people might feel that it's it's too much. So no. it's, it, you know, it's, you're like, no, <laughs> no it's, it's fine. Too much. It's fine. And also <laughs> there's other things that you can do with your jewelry besides wear them. For instance, if you have like a, a lot of jewelry, like we happen to. Um, you know, there are different ways to use it. You don't have to just stick it in a drawer in a jewelry box, which I don't no. do with any of my crystals. Almost all of my crystal jewelry is out on a wall somewhere. Most of mine is out, although mm -hmm. of jewelry. Then mm -hmm. there is, of course, everything else that's under beds. Right, away. well, that, that's a whole that's other a thing, story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, one thing before we leave the topic of jewelry, what, you've mentioned combining pendants. I mm -hmm. combine necklaces. Uh-huh, absolutely. And people forget that you can just intertwine them, and here you can I twist have... them. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one's peridot and uh, savorite garnet. That's beautiful, yeah. And then you can put pendants on your mm -hmm. chip necklaces. Don't think that you have to just A lot yourself. of the pendants will fit. I mm -hmm. do it all the time mm -hmm. on the chip necklaces. And the nice thing yes. about that too is that you're adding your energy to the crystals and to yes. the jewelry and that's building the intention. So it's making it even more energetic and more personal for you. Yes. One thing though, after you wear a piece of jewelry, clean it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't clean it, there's more of a chance of it breaking. Right, right. And, and, I, and keep in mind, too, you're, you're out, you know, it's going to be picking up other energies. Yes. So there's that. There's that. But as for decorating, mm -hmm. I love decorating with crystals. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing I like to do is I like to take chip necklaces. And, for example, we have the holidays coming out. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there's green adventuring running all through this. Mm -hmm. Now, I could have put red jasper, mm -hmm. anything else, depending or on the color. something sparkly, like clear quartz, something yes. like that. Mm -hmm. you could have done that. And yeah. here, I was I was trying to take advantage of the 50-cent keychain sale that we have going on right now, mm -hmm. and I placed them on here with yeah, those. Yeah, those keychains are amazing. You can do so many things with those keychains. Yes. So, you know, the between the keychains and this, you can make a really nice wreath 
for just a couple of dollars. Yeah. Now, something you can do with your bracelets mm -hmm. if you have candles, whether they're real candles or if you have flameless candles, like I have a ton of those flameless candles around my house. You can put, mm -hmm. now just, again, be careful, <coughs> please, me. because they, these can snap. And I don't want you to be sad or anything like that, but this is, can be really, really pretty. Mm -hmm having this around, um, and, it, and it's also very energetic. If you have earrings, you can hang earrings off of things. Yes. I do that all the time. And it's so funny, you mentioned earrings because I take pendants and make them into earrings. Uh-huh. You know, you just all you have to do is get, a, you know, the hook set If you're store. crafty, if you're yeah. crafty. And then even if you don't, if you don't want to go nuts, like I was showing Lourdes this, this is an agate, a carn well, I mean, it is, is it's beautiful. agate. Um, but I, this agate necklace that I have, that I love. It's a beautiful necklace. But honestly, it's very heavy to wear and it clanks and stuff. So I don't really wear it a lot. But I have this hanging in my kitchen. Because I really, I, the energies, you know, feel very warm and earthy to me, which to me is the, the kitchen area. So this is like hanging in my house, and its energy is there all the time. So that's another nice thing to do with it. You're charging water? Yes. Mm -hmm. you can. I didn't put water in here because it would have been too heavy to start lifting. Right. <laughs> but I usually put my necklaces around the water jug, fill it with water, mm -hmm. and let it charge. Mm -hmm. You know, you could put it in the, you could put it in the moonlight. For yes. moonlight charging. Yes. You know, we always say sunlight, and sunlight's fine, except some crystals may uh, get lighter. They're going to fade, or yeah. yeah and you don't mm -hmm. want that, and sometimes mm -hmm. you have to be careful because the sun will hit it, reflect, and burn something, Right. Um, just from experience. Right. So, moonlight is a wonderful way. Mm -hmm. And one of the things, if you have pendants, you can make grids. Yep. Here, you know, I took I do that a, all the time. Yeah, I took mm -hmm. Star David, and it's a center point, the focal point of the grid, and then I have the quartz going out. Mm -hmm. Then one other thing I do, and this is the heavy one. Don't hurt yourself. All right, there we go. No. I put them around quartz clusters. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is a big one, but we have small ones here mm -hmm. that you can do the same thing with. Yep. You know, you could just double it. You can decorate. You, you can know. decorate with them, and they I get do a this boost. kind of thing all the time. Yeah, you know, um, wherever I have, whether it's quartz, whether it's um, uh, uh, amethyst. Yes, um, I have a lot of big labradorite pieces. You know, I mean, look at how pretty that citrine looks on on I the know, quartz. It's really it does look nice. Doesn't it? <laughs> I better put that back on my wrist fast. <laughs> The sky's the limit. We're Don't just giving limited. you some. Crystals, crystals are meant to open, open your energy, open your mind, open your imagination, and everything truly is mm -hmm. limitless. And this is just another way that you can enjoy your crystals and enjoy your jewelry. Mm -hmm. For HealingCrystals.com, I'm Tara, and I'm Lourdes. Crystal blessings. Bye bye.